Hi everybody, my name is Jacqueline Novi and this is my channel. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about what is happening in the world, but before we start, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you love this video, feel free to subscribe. It really helps me out. With that, let's get into the video because I feel like it's a really important topic that we need to discuss. If you haven't heard, Broadway's closed until May of 2021. The blog articles just came out. I'll put some here. I'm sure there's many articles out already. Yeah, it's a hard pill to swallow because right now there's no vaccine in sight. So we don't know when theaters are going to be reopening in May 2021 or if later. There's speculation that it's actually going to be September is the actual date where things are going to be reopening, but nothing has been said the most pertinent thing that i'm wondering is how are theaters supposed to survive until then are they waiting on loans from the government um and how is this going to affect the economy of cities broadway is a huge network of people i'm not sure how many people are involved in theater i can't find the exact number but i will pop it up on the screen if i find it that's really concerning from an economic standpoint how are all of these people supposed to be able to survive until then. Granted, I'm sure some of them have supplemental income streams. These people are supposed to survive until May of 2021. That's over a year of not working because of this pandemic. And that's going to make a serious dent in their financial stability. They might have to turn to other industries now. And that's scary because then that means the arts is dwindling. And I know that arts doesn't necessarily mean a necessity for a lot of people, but personally, as somebody who is going into the arts and thrives on the arts, it's a necessity to me. I consume it daily. No matter where I am, it's on my social media feed. When I'm walking through Central Park, there's people playing in the streets. I can't believe that people don't think that it's necessary by now. That being said, the safety of all comes before being able to be in performances. So what I mean is, I can't believe that these people aren't getting unemployment. Not that I can't believe theaters are not open by now, because that isn't safe. That won't be safe. And I get why theaters are closed. But it's just frustrating from an artist's perspective to see that no theaters are getting financial compensation for the fact that they are closed. Everybody else is getting financial compensation. Or they're already open again. Restaurants are kind of open now. Some are even doing dining indoors. I mean, New York still is opening very slowly, so that might be a reason why a lot of theaters aren't going to be getting financial compensation here. But how are they supposed to survive? Does anybody have any solutions on this? Like, I, I don't. And I'm scared for the future of the arts. If you're in the theater community or if you're not in the theater community, what you think? about the future of the arts and how that's going to change because right now there's a lot of virtual things going on and that's great and I'm happy that those things are going on because again, I consume arts every single day based on the apps that I look at. TikTok can be considered entertainment, right? But those people are creating content. Whether or not it's decent content, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> or memeable content. But that being said, all of these things are virtual, right? So the virtual things are happening, but it really seems like a lot of these Zoom musicals or um, Zoom plays, they seem like you're watching a bootleg at home or watching a live stream of a performance, which is essentially a bootleg at home. And I don't know how to change that. I don't know how to change that atmosphere. And I think that's gonna hurt artists in the long run because audience members are not going to want to participate in ticket buying if they think that it's just a ripoff of what the actual play would be. I guess doing things for free, that's great and all, but in terms of keeping the industry alive and keeping your theater afloat, you need to be able to have fundraisers and get new donations and have people buy tickets. And how are you supposed to promote that when everything's online? How are you supposed to edge up your experience? Let me know down in the comments if you have any solutions on that. 
Also, how will things work when the theater actually reopens? I have no answers on this. I have no answers about if masks will be required, if you're gonna have to undergo a temperature check when you go in. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be fussy about that, even though it's for the safety of others. <laughs> I don't know if seats will be blocked off in theaters. Do you guys have any answers to this? I'm lost in terms of how this is going to go. And like, I, I know that this isn't necessarily at the forefront of people's brains because if you're unemployed, you're looking for jobs. You're just trying to get that income. And like, I get that. My heart goes out to you, personally. I am lucky to have an income stream right now, even being a student. That being said, I wonder how things are gonna change. It's interesting to think about, but it's also like, what is the future of the arts? Are the arts gonna crumble because of this setback? And that's scary to think about personally, because I am just one little person in the early stages of her career, and I am wanting the arts to work out for me. And yes, that means that I have so much time to find another job if things don't work out. That's gonna create a dent in what I'm studying and my degree. My degree will be worthless if the arts go under, so just something to think about, I don't know. I know this was kind of a morbid video, but I, if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns about what is happening in the world in terms of Broadway, arts, theater, virtual performances, let me know down in the comments down below. If you liked this video and you liked this reporter style um, type of video, let me know by giving it a like. If you loved this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will be posting every Wednesday night. I hope that you guys have a great day, that you guys are staying really safe and really healthy, and let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments down below too. Know that I'll be starting live streams hopefully soon, so I'll let you guys know when that happens. But until then, follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. I'll leave my social media handles up here. I'll see you soon. Bye! Start the coffee Sunday morning